Okay, so let's go through these 3.1 using exponents. Number one, simplify and write with only positive exponents. So I've got some negative exponents up there. Um, the x to the minus 2 and the x to the minus 3 in the denominator. So a negative exponent just means you switch it uh, from either the top to the bottom or the bottom to the top. So I can rewrite this as 4x cubed times y over 16x squared times y cubed. This uh, gets rid of the negative exponents. Now I need to simplify. Um, so if I write these out, the x cubed is just 3x's, and the x squared is 2x's, the y cubed would be 3x's. Um, I have a 4 sixteenths, so I can rewrite the 4 sixteenths as 1 fourth, and then I can go ahead and start canceling out what I have duplicates in the numerator or the denominator. What I'm left with then is x in the numerator and y squared in the denominator. So this is simplified as x over 4y squared. Number 2 has something similar, so I'm going to split that uh, 2 cubed up into 2 times 2 times 2, and then the 4 to the negative 1 is the same as 1 over 4 to the negative 1. So this can be rewritten as 8 over 4, which can be simplified to the number 2. Number three has uh, multiplication with a bunch of negative exponents. So let's write that out where we write those negative exponents as positive exponents by moving them to de the denominator. So I get 2 cubed times 1 over 4 to the 1 times 1 over 8 squared times 16 squared times 1 over 32 to the 1. Now if I multiply these together, multiply the numerators, multiply the denominators, I get 2 cubed times 16 squared over 4 times 8 squared times 32. Uh, if I don't have a calculator, one nice way to do this is since they all have 2 as their uh, common denominators, least common denominators, I can rewrite these in all 2's. So I get 2 cubed times 2 to the 8th. Um, and then the, the denominator 4 is 2 squared. Um, 8 squared is 2 to the 6th. And 32 is 2 to the 5th. Okay. So now if I have all of these written out that way, when I multiply exponents, I add them up. So this becomes 2 to the 11th over 2 to the 13th. When I now divide exponents, I subtract those. So this becomes 11 minus 13, or 1 over 2 to the second, which is 1 over 4. Number 4, the first thing I want to do with that one is turn that big number into a scientific notation, 3.68 times 10 to the 7th, divided by 2 times 10 to the minus 4th. When I divide exponents, I subtract them. Uh, but since that negative 4, since I have a negative 4, when I subtract that, I actually add 4. So I'll divide the, the coefficients up front, 3.68 divided by 2, and I'll subtract 7 from negative 4, which is the same as 7 plus 4. So my answer becomes 1.84 times 10 to the 11th. The last problem I have is uh, similar to the ones up top, except I have a giant negative exponent. So the first thing I'll do is flip-flop that whole fraction and put b squared times c on top and 4a minus to the minus third times b c to the fifth. Now the only other one I have to flip now that I've flipped the whole thing is move that a up to the top and then cancel out what I have similar in the numerator and the denominator. So the b squared at the top becomes just b, the b in the denominator disappears, the c in the numerator goes away and the 5 goes to a 4. I get rid of one of the c's in the denominator. So my final answer then would be a cubed times b, because that a went up, and the 4c squared are to the 4th in the denominator.